Hi guys, very soon on this channel, we are going to cover things like linked lists and also graph theory and more. So I thought it would be a good thing to have a refresher on pointers because pointers is a very important concept for advanced data structures. So this is the hacker rank challenge called pointers in C and we have to complete a function to pass the test cases. I'm going to jump straight into the, um, the task that we have here and it says we have to complete the function void updates which is this function right here. And it reads two integers as arguments. And we have to set A, the value of A to the sum of both A and B. And we have to set the value of B to the absolute difference between A and B. Let's scroll down for the sample input. Let's say we receive four for the value of A and five for the initial value of B. Then the output has to be nine and one. So the reason why we get nine is because nine is the sum of four and five. So A is going to get the value nine, which corresponds to the sum of both A and B. And the difference between four and five is one. So B is going to have that value. Of course, if we do four minus five, we're going to get a negative value. We don't want that. That's why we want the absolute difference. So let's look at the code here in the main function. First of all, I've added three lines of comments. They don't come with the challenge, but I think it makes understanding easier that way. So the first thing that we have to do in this function is store the value of a in a temporary variable. And then we are going to add the value of b to a. And finally, we're going to store the absolute difference between a and b into b. So if I look now at my main function, you can see that they are declaring two integers, a and b. And then they create two integer pointers. So this is pointer a, p a, and this is pointer b. So p a is a pointer because it has this um, asterisk just before the name. And that pointer is pointing to the address of a. So a pointer is basically a variable that holds the address of another variable. And you can manipulate values better that way. And pointer b is holding the address of the variable b. So whenever you want to access the address of a variable, you can use the ampersand before the name of the variable. Now, careful because in C++, if you add the ampersand after the data type, for instance, it usually means that you are accessing by reference or you want to get a reference of um, another variable. But that's something for another video. I have more videos on that on my channel. So next in this challenge, what they do is they call the scanf function in C and we use that function to get some inputs. So these format specifiers here, percentage %d, that means that we want to store an int value. And the first one here is going to be stored into A. And the second one is going to be stored into B. After that, we're going to call the update function, which is what we have to complete at the top here. And then we are going to print the values of A and B. So whatever we write here, so this is going to represent four and this is going to represent five. It's not what is going to be displayed when we call the printf function because our update function is going to change these values. And the way it's going to change it is add the sum and store it into A and get the absolute difference and store it into B. That's why we have these parameters as pointers because if we simply pass the values like this without having them as pointers, then we are going to copy the values, process them inside this function. And that is going to happen because A and B are going to be passed by value. What we want to do here is pass them by reference so that whenever we change their values inside the function, it's going to reflect inside our main function as well because the variables themselves, the original variables have been modified. So let's go ahead and complete step one, which says we have to store the value of A into a temp variable. I can write int temp, that is going to be a temporary variable. And the value that I want it to have is the value of A. A is a pointer, so I can't simply write A like this. I have to dereference A by having an asterisk right before the variable name. So when I do this, then now A is going to be four in this case, and four is going to be stored inside of temp. Now I can add the value of B to the value of A by again dereferencing A. I can say A plus equals the value of B. And I'm also dereferencing B by having this asterisk before the variable name. Now let's move to the last step, which is to store the absolute difference between A and B into B. So I need to dereference B again because I want to assign a value to it. And I can have temp, which is the initial value of A, minus B like this. But this is not exactly correct because we can get a negative value that way. What we want is the absolute difference. So I can have this between parentheses like this. Then right before the parentheses, I can write ABS. So ABS is a function in C, which returns us the absolute value 
of whatever is in between the parentheses here. So right now we are getting a yellow line below the, the name of that function. And that is because we've not added the proper header at the top of this program. So I can go here right before this include statement here, and I can have include and in between angle brackets, I can write std lib.h. So whenever you add that header, the program knows where this function is coming from. And that's pretty much it. So let's run this program now. And we pass sample test case zero. Let me now submit this code. And we've passed all the five test cases. So that was pointers in C. I hope you guys now understand how to use pointers in C. But if you have any issues, please drop your questions in the comment section and I will try to respond as soon as I can. Thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you next time. Bye.